Well, good day subscribers and welcome into today's video where we're going to talk about what should Tesla stock price be here today? Not what Tesla stock price should be in three years from now or five years from now or 10 years from now, but what should the valuation on Tesla be here today, okay? Where I'm gonna go through their different business segments which Tesla has you know, several different opportunities they're going after. Do I assign the value to any of these business opportunities? How much value is given to some of these? And keep in mind that Tesla's one of the hardest businesses to value because this is a hyper growth stock. Like look at their revenues from, from 20, you know, 11 to what they've done in 2018. It's unbelievable, okay? Even if you look at their latest quarter versus their, their same, the same quarter last year, it's unbelievable the, the rate that Tesla is growing. So it's a very hard company to value because not a lot of people like know how to value and how to like break it down, right? Some people think this stock should be zero dollars. Some people think it should be worth a few hundred dollars. Some people think the stock should be worth 700 to a thousand dollars here today, not in the future. They think they should be worth that here today, okay? And I can completely understand why people have a lot of trouble valuing a stock like this. Like this is one of the, this is literally probably the hardest stock probably in the entire stock market to value, but any of these type of hyper growth companies that are going off, there's you know, tons of opportunities, it's hard to value them. It's so easy to value a Coca-Cola, a Pepsi, a Johnson & Johnson, a Procter Gamble. Those are a piece of cake to value because they have hardly any growth in those business models. They're very consistent. They're not going after really any huge opportunities. Those type of companies are very, very easy to figure out You know what their, their real worth should be in the stock market. A company like Tesla is completely dependent upon what one person thinks versus another person, okay? So the way I like to start with breaking down a company like Tesla is I like to start with the pie in the sky opportunities for this company. Pie in the sky opportunities mean things a company is going after, but it might be three years away, it might be five years away, it might be seven years away, or the company might fail in getting there. You gotta understand, the big tech companies, they're trying stuff all the time behind closed doors, okay? Every single company is trying to create the next successful product or service, you know, a ton of different projects constantly, okay? You know, look at an Apple, like Apple has so many secret projects going on, it's unbelievable, okay? Facebook, Google, any big tech company has a ton of projects either going on, you know, actively that most people know about or behind the scenes that people don't ever know about, but a lot of times it doesn't ever make it to the public's attention because it doesn't get to that place, okay? So Tesla has definitely two huge pie in the sky opportunities are going after, okay? The first one is around their solar roofs and their power packs. We've seen them uh, show off some pretty cool stuff as far as power packs go. And as far as solar roofs, we've seen them with the, 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 you know, the tiles that can go on the roof and whatnot. But keep in mind, that was something that was shown off three or four years ago and we still have yet to really see that in the real world. So it's an opportunity but it's so far out there, and from my understanding, they've done a lot of testing on those tiles and whatnot, but it's like, you, we're not seeing it in the real world yet, right? No one has a Tesla solar roof on their roof or something like that, right? No way, like, they look awesome. I think they look totally cool. But if we're going off facts, like people just don't have those, okay? That's just not something that's going on, okay? Uh, and so this whole segment of energy, I personally can't see where Tesla's going here, okay? I can't see if they're gonna, this is gonna be a business that's gonna bring them tons of profit someday, you know, hundreds of millions or billions of dollars. As of today, I assign Tesla's energy business at a zero dollar value because I cannot see if that company's gonna be super successful, not super successful as far as that business segment goes, who knows, it is completely, it is completely a guess as of right now. If Tesla's energy side of their business will make them a lot of money or not make them a lot of money on the bottom line in the future, okay? It is a complete 100% guess as of right now. So since it's a 100% guess, and I can't, I can't say they're in front of somebody or behind somebody, I can't, I can't honestly tell where, where they're at with their energy business. For that reason, I assign a zero dollar value to Tesla's energy business. I don't even give them a penny, okay? Because literally, who knows, okay? Now, a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, maybe that changes, maybe Tesla starts to ramp these products, maybe they start bringing in profits, you know, we'll see about all that, but as of right now, it's a completely guess game, okay? So since it's a complete guess game, I'm not giving them any value for their energy side of their business as of today. But that can change, who knows? There's a business that could be worth a lot of money, you know, future years, okay? Let's talk about the autonomous taxi network. This is something that is at, at the minimum, 
at the minimum three years away, but probably closer to five to seven years away before it starts to get going, okay? Keep in mind, when something starts to get going, it doesn't go into mass right away. It is something that takes time to ramp and things like that, okay? So the autonomous taxi network, this is gonna be a massive opportunity. And, and kind of how I look at the market and kind of how I see trends going and looking at the concrete numbers as of right now as far as ride sharing and things like that and how much cheaper it could be to have you know an autonomous car driving people around rather than a, a physical human in the, in the car and things like that, okay? Here's how I look at it. I think the winner of this category, Autonomous Taxi Network, I think they're gonna have around a $200 billion valuation. That's assuming the business doesn't do anything else and literally that's all the business does. I think the winner in that space will have about a $200 billion valuation down the road, okay? But keep in mind, the winner is not gonna be announced for this category for 10 to 15 years, okay? Because once everything starts to get up and rolling, everybody's gonna be trying to compete in this and then we'll see who shakes out and who's the number one and number two, okay? But in my opinion, looking at all the numbers and looking at how profitable I believe these cars will be, I think it's gonna be about a $200 billion valuation given to the winner. The second place finisher, I think is gonna have around a $100 billion valuation. So these are, these are really big opportunities and you have a lot of different companies going after this, okay? The, the ones that I think of as the main ones are gonna be Waymo, which is owned by Google. Obviously, they're trying a lot of different things as far as you know, working on autonomous vehicles and taxi networks and things like that, okay? So they're gonna be one going after it. They're gonna have the funding to do so. Being part of Google's company, obviously, they're gonna have a, a great opportunity to maybe be the winner there or a second place finisher. Uber is gonna be going after this, okay? Obviously, Uber is the biggest you know, ride-sharing service in the entire world, right? They're, they, if they wanna stay relevant 10 years from now, they have to get on autonomous taxi networks. Like they, that's how Uber has to be in the future, okay? Otherwise, Uber will go from this big, huge company to literally irrelevant pretty much overnight, okay? And then you have Lyft going after this and you're gonna have the other automaker, or some of the other automakers probably going after this. In my opinion, not such realistic competitors. You think about Lyft, Lyft is so small, they're not gonna have the resources, in my opinion, to really you know make something like that. They're a super big long shot. And then automakers, Automakers are having a, a hard time even trying to catch up to the electric wave and like autonomous vehicles in general. So if I'm looking at legacy automakers, uh, Toyota and Honda and Ford and General Motors and these type of companies, right? It's possible they could be the first or second place finisher in this category, but I think that's gonna be a long shot because you look at how far a lot of these companies are starting just from the, the electric side of, of getting their vehicles to be an electric. So if it takes these type of companies this long to even try to start making electric vehicles, Imagine trying to make an autonomous taxi network. Like it's just, it's it's pretty much out of their realm to try to pull something like that off, right? So in my opinion, the two main dogs that are gonna be competing with Tesla, obviously there's a market Tesla's gonna be going after, are gonna be Waymo and Uber. So who's gonna be the first place finisher? I think Tesla's gonna have a great opportunity to actually be a first place finisher here because the amount of sheer data this company has and this company is collecting constantly from the autopilot feature that is in people's cars right now. It is on a, on a totally unparalleled scale from any anybody else that's basically trying to get to autonomy out there, okay? And if we think about, you know, how hard it's gonna be to pull off a successful autonomy, you know, autonomous taxi network, right? Huge deal, like this is gonna be a miracle. Well, if I'm betting on companies that pull off miracles, is it Waymo? No, they don't pull off miracles. Is it Uber? They've done some pretty impressive things, but I wouldn't call what they've done necessarily a miracle. What's a company that pulls off these miracles consistently? It's Tesla, okay? The fact that Tesla has, has shifted the entire automobile industry toward electric vehicles this fast, where it was like a few years ago, it was like people were like, that's a joke, and now it's like, oh no, all vehicles in the future are gonna be electric, right? And then autonomous uh, vehicles, if it wasn't for Tesla, I can guarantee you we'd be so much further back. They're pushing everybody so much faster than we ever thought possible, okay? So, this is a miracle opportunity, and I'm gonna bet on the company that has miracles, okay? But with that being said, it's something that is many, many years out, okay, before it even starts to get going. So, which means I'm gonna say, I, I, if I had to put my money on who's gonna be the winner in the space, I'm gonna put my money on Tesla. But, keep in mind, it's a long time away, so I'll give them a 1% valuation on what that market will be worth, in my opinion, over time. Um, so I'll give them about $2 billion of valuation, okay? So from Tesla's pie in the sky opportunities, I only give them a $2 billion valuation as 
of today, okay? Now keep in mind, a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, things can change, right? Maybe they don't, uh, it looks like they're not gonna have a chance of this, so this evaporates. Maybe all of a sudden the energy business is, is ramping in a major way, maybe they start pouring in profits. Maybe all of a sudden that's worth billions, like who knows down the road, we're talking about today, okay? So that's the pie in the sky side of their business. Now let's get into what's going on today. Alrighty guys, now let's go ahead and talk about where Tesla is today. Let's talk about facts, let's not talk about opinion here. Let's just stay on the facts and kind of talk about where Tesla is today, okay? So the first thing you have to acknowledge before you acknowledge like anything that Tesla's doing is the mere fact that all vehicles in the future will be electric vehicles. We don't know if that's gonna be three years from now, five years from now, seven years from now, 10 years from now. We don't know how long it will take to get there. Everybody's got a different opinion, but every single auto manufacturer out there is saying electric vehicles are the future. All vehicles in the future will be electric, okay? So there's, if, if even like the big legacy auto manufacturers are saying like all vehicles in the future are gonna be electric, that means for sure all vehicles, in a few, like for a few years, they were in denial about it. They were like, no, ICE cars are here to stay. And then now the, the you know, look, just read the headlines. Like every big auto manufacturer is talking about electric vehicles of the future now. So that's the first thing you gotta acknowledge. Also, the other fact is all cars will be autonomous in the future. I mean, the amount of deaths that happen on a, on a road in a given day is ridiculous, okay? The amount of people that die or are severely injured in car accidents is ridiculous, okay? With autonomous vehicles, we should be able to get those numbers down substantially, okay? Probably less than cut in half, if not even more than that, okay? It will be as rare to see like car accidents, I, I'm like 10, 20 years from now, I imagine it would be as rare to see a major car accident that it is to like see a major plane crash or something like that, okay? Super, super rare stuff. That's where we're going in the future, okay? So that's a trend, you know, you can, you can debate on how many years it will take to get there and that's perfectly fair game. But the fact is that's where things are going, okay? So Tesla here today is the number one volume seller of pure electric vehicles in the world, okay? Number one pure electric vehicle maker out there, okay? There's really no one even close to them, General Motors, Volkswagen, Toyota, Honda, it doesn't matter who you, what, what company you wanna look at, most of those companies don't even really have a real electric vehicle in the market yet, and the ones that do, they're just lagging significantly behind. You can look at any of the charts out there for how many like, Teslas are sold versus other electric vehicles, okay? Fact, they're by far and away the number one dollar share of electric vehicles by even a more substantial rate. So it's not just a fact that they're selling more in volume, the ASP for a Tesla vehicle versus a Chevy Bolt or something like that, like it's, a, you know, it's a significant, significant more money essentially you're paying for a Tesla versus those other vehicles. So if you're looking at it even on a, a more impressive basis, it's rare that a company can not only be the number one dollar share in a category, but also the number one volume seller. That's a really, really difficult thing to pull off, okay? Tesla is doing that as of right now, okay? They're also the leader in real world autonomy here today, okay? If you think about real world autonomy, Think about, like, go to, go to any car dealership out there, okay? Any car dealership. Go to Toyota, go to Honda, go to, you know, General Motors, you know, a Chevy dealership, go to a Ford dealership. It literally doesn't matter who you go to. Go to a Ferrari dealership, a Lamborghini. Literally doesn't matter. Go ahead to any dealership out there and just go, go like, test drive a vehicle and see if they have anything even remotely comparable. Yeah, I'm talking about their highest of the highest end vehicles. And see if they have anything anything even remotely comparable to like what Tesla can do on autonomous mode and you're gonna find it's really not even a close, it's not even close guys. So basically Tesla's in the front of everybody in real world autonomy. Companies can talk about they're doing this or doing that or they're testing this or testing that. What's going on in the real world today, okay? That's something to keep in mind. It's kind of like the whole thing about, oh, you know, all these companies are gonna become Tesla killers, right? And it's like, okay, they've been saying that for years now and we're in 2019, middle of 2019, 2019, it still hasn't happened. When are they coming, okay? Same exact thing there, okay? Number one brand name in electric vehicles by a mile. There's really no other car company that's really known for electric vehicles. Rivian is super, 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 super niche right now. Like, unless you are a diehard, like, person like me that pays attention to what's going on in the market, like, literally is no even ele other electric vehicle maker that's even relevant on the face of the earth right now. No one's known for electric vehicles. And I think that's a huge branding problem for all these guys that are ICE, uh, ICE you know, ICE vehicle manufacturers. When they try to come over to the electric space, none of them are known for electric vehicles. So if you're talking about who are you gonna trust with making you an electric vehicle, I'm not gonna trust a company that has no experience. Like that's like that's like trusting Tesla 10 years ago. It was a really hard, like the people that were buying Teslas 10 years ago, which I think they had some little uh, Tesla in the market, or even like when they had the Model S first come out in 2011, 2012, right? The people that were buying those took a huge risk. 
because Tesla hadn't really proven anything yet. So if you're gonna bet on somebody to make you an electric vehicle, you're gonna probably bet on the one that's been doing this for years, right? And Tesla's got a decade plus in this game now of building electric vehicles, and they're the number one brand name by a mile in electric vehicles, okay? There's really not even a number two right now that you can say, oh, they're the number two uh, name in electric vehicles. There's really not. There's them and there's no one else, okay? They're also the number one data collector for vehicles on autopilot right now, or any type of autonomous mode, whatever you wanna call it by other anybody else there's no there's no one that's collecting the sheer amount of data at Tesla is every single time somebody puts a car in autopilot or takes it off of autopilot all those things are being recorded all those things are in the system for Tesla to kind of understand that's a massive massive thing guys and we'll talk about the value of all these in just a minute okay they're also the largest scale for building electric vehicles and batteries today of anyone in the entire world. There's also another, there's not another company that can literally just today build as many electric vehicles as Tesla can and as many batteries here today as Tesla. And then imagine when Tesla gets to Shanghai Gigafactory up and running in a few months, okay? Then imagine, you know, uh, what, what Tesla's gonna be able to do. So these, these ICE, you know, auto manufacturers, they can produce a lot of ICE vehicles today. They can produce tens of thousands or maybe even hundreds of thousands or maybe even millions around the world, right? Because they have a lot of factories, but those factories aren't optimized or set up for electric vehicles, okay? So there's really no one else who can scale electric vehicles or battery technology the way Tesla can here today, okay? Another fact is this company's over 100X revenues from 2011 to 2018, okay? They did $21.5 billion of revenue in 2018. And think about it, there's no other company that, I mean, how many other companies in the entire world that are public companies have over 100X revenues in that short of an amount of time? I cannot think of one company that's over 100X revenues that was a public company from 2011 to 2018. I literally cannot think of them, okay? So that's unbelievable, the type of scale they've gotten to, and that's just insane growth, okay? That's parabolic growth, we like to call it in the stock market. But but this has made the financials really hard to read and that's another reason why the, the valuation, if you're looking at valuation, everybody's got a different valuation for this company, it's really hard to value this company because the financials are all over the place. But think about it, this company just over 100x revenues in a seven, eight year span. How, once again, there's no other public company I know of that has done that in that short of amount of time, and especially that's a big tech company, okay? No one else. So if you're looking at financials and you're trying to grade financials, it's not really gonna be possible for a company that has scaled this quickly and has grown this quickly. They're just gonna be all over the place. The cash flow is gonna be all over the place. The income statement is gonna be, it's just the way it is when you have that type of parabolic growth in the public markets, okay? They've also proven they can raise capital. It's a company that has proven time and time again that they can raise capital whenever they want, okay? A billion dollars, two billion, three billion, it really doesn't matter. They've proven they can raise capital. So here's the kind of situation around Tesla, and then we'll go through kind of what I think these markets are worth for Tesla right now. It's it's really, really difficult to grade the financials. And so if you're looking at the financials and you're trying to figure out a valuation for Tesla, I've, I've, in my personal opinion, it's just impossible right now. At 2020 and past, it's gonna be, a, you know, it's gonna get a lot easier because Tesla's financials will become a lot more predictable. This type of crazy growth is gonna slow down. They're still gonna grow for many years in the future, okay? Once Model Y comes out in the semi and Model 3 continues to ramp around the world, all those sorts of things. And then mind, you know, future products Tesla is coming, you know, Tesla truck, things like that. By the way, I saw a really cool prototype of a Tesla truck recently that somebody did. I was like, that, that was the first one I actually liked. But needless to say, 2020 and past, the financials will get easier to read. It will get much easier to value Tesla, but here today. So if you're valuing Tesla here today, you have to kind of think about what the market's worth for some of these opportunities and uh, kind of like, like how Tesla's doing in those you know, specific scenarios, okay? So let's get into that now. Alrighty guys, now let's go ahead and break down these numbers. And let me share with you like how much I think Tesla stock should be valued at here today, okay? Now first thing you just gotta kind of think about is all vehicles in the future will be electric vehicles. If if you don't think all vehicles in, electric, well, in the future will be electric vehicles, then you can't get to any type of valuation for Tesla, okay? Um, and also, you've got to think all vehicles in the future are going to have basically autonomous features or, you know, basically full autonomy where the car drives itself, okay? If you can't mentally get to those places, then you can't really get to a big valuation on Tesla. It's just going to be impossible, okay? But being that that's where the market's going, that's where all the trends are going, that's where all the auto manufacturers think the market's going, you know, I'm gonna probably go with where the everybody's seeming to go, okay? So, here's the situation. Number one volume seller in pure electric vehicles, 
Number one dollar share, dollar share in electric vehicles by even a more substantial rate, right? They had the number one brand name in a mile and a half in electric vehicles. Once again, all vehicles in the future that will be sold will be electric vehicles. Just a question of how many years it takes to get there, okay? They're the largest scale for building electric vehicles in batteries, and that seems to you know, be rapidly increasing. So if I'm valuing all those, I'm gonna put about a $100 billion valuation on it as of today, okay, as of today. Because you gotta think about it. if all vehicles in the future are gonna be electric vehicles, right? Where do you wanna be in that? Do you wanna be the number one player, the one that's got more experience doing that than anybody? The one that has the brand name by a mile in front of everybody, right? Do you wanna be the one that has the most scale in this? Or do you wanna be somebody trying to come in that space? If I'm having a bet on who's gonna probably stay the number one player in electric vehicles, long term, I'm going to say it's probably going to be Tesla and it's going to be hard to dethrone these guys. A matter of fact, I would go out and say it's going to be a miracle to try and dethrone Tesla in terms of the dollar share and the fact that they are the number one seller of volume of electric vehicles in the world. Because if I'm looking, I'm looking at Tesla's you know competitive position basically increasing over time. So if I'm thinking about this and I'm thinking about where should I value Tesla as of here today, I've got to put a $100 billion valuation just on where the company's at right now when it comes to electric vehicles because the company's just so far out in front of everybody when it comes to everything electric vehicle related, okay? Once again, if you don't believe the market's going all toward electric vehicles in the future, then you can't get to that place. But anybody that has any common sense realizes like L cars in the future will be electric vehicles and it's gonna be Tesla as the main dog there. You know, it, it can be debated, but you know, who knows? Maybe somebody can come dethrone them. Hard task, okay? Number two, the other part of their business I really value is they're the number one real world autonomy leader here today. Once again, we just talked about go to any other car, go try any other car in the world right now that you could actually buy off a parking lot, off a dealership lot, and go tell me what they have as far as their autonomy, uh, you know, autopilot type modes versus a Tesla, and you're gonna find it. There's no one that's even producing anything, even comparable, okay? And they're the number one data collector right now for vehicles on auto autopilot, which means the, the rate they're gonna be able to get better when it comes to autonomous vehicles is gonna be so much greater than anybody else that's trying to come in the market. It's not just a tech-related problem where you have to try to figure out the tech-related, it's also the chips you're making, obviously, right? The Tesla has the most advanced chip for uh, you know autonomous driving that's literally you know possible you can have out there right now, okay? They developed that themselves. And then they have all this massive amounts of data they're collecting around you know what, what's a good move for a car to make, what's a bad move, Oh, the car didn't recognize that over there. Oh, the car did recognize this. That was a good decision and things like that, right? So if you think about this, this should be at least a $20 billion valuation as of today, because if you're thinking about people's purchasing decisions going in future years, it's not just gonna be the fact that they're thinking, oh, I wanna buy an electric vehicle, it's that they're gonna be thinking, I wanna buy an electric vehicle that also has autonomy that can drive itself, that I don't even have to drive and things like that, right? So they're the number one leader in real world technology that's happening today in both those spaces, which is how today I get to a valuation on this company, Jeremy's Tesla, value today of about 120 billion to 125 billion today okay once again that's not assuming you know i think they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna have their valuation is gonna be much more substantial than that in future years but i think today the company should be worth 120 to 125 billion which if it had that type of valuation today would have the stock price would be somewhere around 625 dollars roughly okay and right now it's 190 dollar stock the market is significantly undervaluing Tesla, not even for where Tesla's going in the future, but for where Tesla is today, in my personal opinion. You can't value the financials as of right now because the company has simply, rap you know, it's, it's grown too rapidly to even, even be able to justify a valuation for the financials as of right now. As the growth starts to slow, they'll still continue to grow for years in the future, but as their, their growth rate is not 100 plus X over the, they're not gonna grow another 100 X over, you know, over the the next seven to eight years. I can almost guarantee you that, okay? Which means our financials are gonna get a lot easier to read. And then once the financials get easier to read, then the folks on Wall Street can start saying, oh, oh, now I can see this. But right now, if you're valuing Tesla today, 
You can't value off of financials. You have to value off of where the company's at, their market leadership in these positions, where the entire market's going. That's how I get to a valuation about 120, 125 billion guys, $600 stock as of today in my personal opinion. And that's why I'm buying the stock pretty heavily, not making it my biggest position because it is still speculative and they still do have to pull off more stuff, but I'm absolutely making this a pretty big position. I think it's up to my sixth or my fifth biggest position. I might get it up to my fourth biggest position guys. And uh, that's why I love this one. It's just, it's just significantly undervalued in my personal opinion. Okay. You just have to value it differently than you value an average company out there. You can't value this stock the same way you can value a Coca-Cola. And this is where everybody gets so tricked. Okay. You can't value this like Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola doesn't have growth. This company grew hundred X plus You're like this company's going after massive markets. You can't value the same way you can value Google or Apple. It's just, it's just, it's apples and oranges. Okay. No, no pun intended. Okay. Different situations there guys. So anyways, let me know your opinion down there in that comment section on what you believe Tesla's value is today. Not where it's going 10 years from now or five years from now. What Tesla should be valued at today? I would love to hear from you guys as always. Thank you for watching and have a great day.